The Dangers of Blowfish Toxin. Japanese authorities sent out an emergency warning in a coastal city on Monday after several packages of fugu or blowfish were mistakenly sold to unsuspecting customers. A grocery store in Gamagori accidentally sold five packages of assorted blowfish meat with its poisonous parts still intact. Three of the packages have been recovered, but two have yet to be found. The liver and internal organs of blowfish are known to contain tetrodotoxin, a lethal neurotoxin 1,200 times more potent than cyanide. One fish has enough poison to kill 30 adult humans. Tetrodotoxin targets motor neurons, causing numbness in the lips, loss of muscle control, and organ paralysis. A fatal dose could lead to respiratory arrest and death. There is no known antidote. Despite the danger, blowfish meat is a delicacy in Japan. But because of the high risk, only rigorously trained and licensed chefs are allowed to prepare the deadly fish. There are still those who die from blowfish poisoning, though these are mostly amateur cooks or sports fishermen who try to cut up the fish themselves. You sure you want to eat that? Cooking oil in China is recycled from the gutters. Chinese authorities have battled to get rid of gutter oil in the country's kitchens for years, cracking down on illegal oil production rings since 2011. But now it seems the black market oil in street-side stalls could be used to power up airplane engines. With Chinese cooking being so heavy on the oil, some enterprising people thought up a cheap way to produce it – by recycling garbage. First, they scoop up waste containing used oil or animal fat from sewers, gutters or dumpsters and take it to processing plants. After the mixture is refined and processed, the oil is repackaged and sold to vendors in small restaurants at below market prices. As reprocessed sewage, gutter oil contains carcinogens, which may lead to cancer and other health problems. But with the disgusting oil served up in cheap street eats, unsuspecting foodies may be none the wiser. Other countries have long used recycled oil not for cooking, but for industrial purposes, something China only caught on to in recent years. In 2014, Boeing partnered with a Chinese aircraft company to turn gutter oil into sustainable biofuel. After a Hainan Airlines flight flew from Shanghai to Beijing last March on a 50-50 mix of gutter oil and jet fuel, China might very well turn gutter oil into gold. China Food Safety – Girl Vomits After Eating Paraffin Wax Dumplings Chinese woman Miss Liu became suspicious after cooking some sticky rice dumplings that she bought in her local supermarket. She found a white substance floating on the surface after cooking them and concluded that it was probably paraffin wax. Her daughter then returned home from school, ate the tangyuan without her mother knowing, and then vomited. The supermarket said it was the fault of the manufacturer, while the manufacturer said the white material was palm oil. Food safety has been one of the hottest topics in China in recent years. Yes, there's a photo. A Michigan mother may be looking to quit fast food as a New Year's resolution after discovering her fish sandwich came with, uh, extra protein. After getting McDonald's takeout on Wednesday night, the woman took a bite out of her filet -o fish before picking it apart as part of her usual routine. While inspecting the deep-fried patty, she found a worm weaved between the fish and its breading. Ew. The woman went back to the store to complain, but they could only offer her a refund and a corporate number to call. She declined the refund, as well as an attempt to take the tainted sandwich away, supposedly for testing. Instead, the woman stored the wormy patty in her freezer for safekeeping. McDonald's corporate seems to have made contact, though whether or not the issue has been resolved remains unclear. Mom discovers maggots in son's KFC fried chicken. It's a fast food nightmare as frightening as it gets. On October 10th, a concerned mother posted this video to YouTube of her son's fried chicken meal, courtesy of none other than the Colonel. On October 2nd, she took the five-year-old boy to a KFC in West Helena, Arkansas for a bucket of fried chicken. Shortly after the meal, the boy began gagging and vomiting, and she rushed him to the hospital with a bout of food poisoning. She must have held on to the meal, and for good reason. After inspecting the meal, she noticed little fly eggs inside the meat. By the next day, the eggs had hatched into a full-blown explosion of maggots. Ew! In response to the mother's claims, KFC released a statement saying it was highly unlikely the contamination happened in its restaurant. 
The company pointed to the fact a health inspector had come by days earlier and had taken a good look around the location for anything that would be of concern. KFC also noted that its cooking methods would also make it practically impossible for the eggs to survive the scorching hot temperatures the dead birds are put through. That being said, how much are you craving a finger licking good drumstick right about now? Chinese restaurants caught seasoning their food with opium. If you've ever found yourself desperately craving Chinese food soon after eating a bowl of noodles or hot pot, MSG might not necessarily have been the culprit. China's food and drug watchdog has found dozens of restaurants all across the country allegedly using opium to season their food. Now, whether small amounts of opium in their grub can indeed make addicts or even regulars out of customers remains to be proven. But given how frequent cases of opium seasoning have been in recent years, the restaurants, which include a popular Beijing hot pot chain, may have been attempting to test that very theory. Five of the 35 restaurants found to have been peppering their food with opium are currently being prosecuted. The others are still under investigation.